If I may also say so with the greatest of respect, and I think in this respect I will speak for the leader of the opposition and myself, I think you have been a tad unfair on us today to say that we are forgetting the moment in which Gibraltar finds itself simply because we're having a discussion about the Immigration Act. I think you know, we are very conscious of the fact that Gibraltar is where it is today. And I am here, Mr. Speaker, to answer questions because life will go on, Mr. Speaker, and this parliamentary democracy must work, and it must also work, if I may say so, subject to your discretion, which you have always exercised absolutely appropriately in the, in the view of the government with an element of sting and party politics because we have a, a confrontational a system of government and opposition which all of us even you mr. speaker when you have been here uh, think is the best way to ensure that we test each other's policies and each other's arguments um, to the best of our ability I don't pretend that I always get it right I don't have the monopoly of the truth and I do make mistakes because I'm, I'm, I'm only human but I am concerned to see that the House proceeds, that 200 and something questions is a very large number of questions, and we are spending very many hours here. It's, a it's, it's our job, but we ought to do it as expeditiously as possible. 